You must have heard this news at some point in your life that the earth is warming which will eventually melt all the ice on the poles and on the mountain tops since early 90s many glaciers around the world have been rapidly melting and human activities are at the main root of this phenomenon specifically since industrial revolution carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas emissions have raised the temperature even higher in poles as a result the glaciers are melting rapidly before the year 2100 more than a third of world's remaining glaciers will melt and when it comes to sea ice 95% of the oldest and the thickest ice in the arctic is already gone nasa found that 2010 to 2019 was the hottest decade ever recorded and according to noaa global analysis the global annual temperature has increased at an average rate of about 0.17 degrees centigrade per decade since 1970 The ocean already rose by 6 cm during the course of 19th century because of the temperature around the earth but they rose by 19 cm during the course of 20th century which is over 3 times faster than the previous one according to noaa global sea level could rise around 2.5 meters or 8 ft by the year 2100 which is not very far there are more than 5 million cubic miles of ice on earth and some scientists say it would take more than 5000 years to melt it all but if all the ice on the land will melt it and drain into the sea raising it 216 ft how the world would look like if the sea level will rise just 3 ft it would eliminate up to 14000 square ft of the indian subcontinent So the rise of 216 ft would be disastrous for the region. Mumbai and Calcutta will be underwater with the entire country of Bangladesh which is home to 160 million people. The coast of Southeast Asia and the surrounding islands such as Bangkok, Ho Chi Minh City, Singapore, Manila and Hong Kong will lost within water. which will result in disappearance of 600 million chinese people the water will also not spare shanghai and beijing the sea level in japan will rise 10 to 20% faster than the global average after the glacier melting at the west the coastline cities will get slammed the gulf of california will stretch north and the san diego which would be completely swallowed by the pacific california's central valley will flood producing san francisco to a cluster of hills peaking above the water surface and in the north portland and seattle will just be looking like a sets of island than a bustling city along with the gulf of mexico houston and new orleans researchers predicted that 5200 square miles of mississippi delta will also disappear and about florida the entire state will be drowned by the atlantic ocean along with washington new york boston all will be gone these cities will especially affected by the greenland's melting ice sheets the amount of fresh water will disrupt the circulation pattern in the atlantic ocean and causes the sea to expand the amazon basin in the north and the paraguay river basin in the south would become atlantic inlets wiping out buenos aires coastal uruguay and most of the paraguay mountainous stretches would survive along the caribbean coast and in the central america in the southeast the mediterranean sea will spill into black and caspian seas drowning odessa and istanbul and the adriatic sea will grow northwards erasing venice on the west coast of italy the ancient city of rome will be engulfed by the mediterranean sea along with marseille and barcelona and in the north saint petersburg will beneath the baltic sea 55% of the netherland is already below the sea level and the rising seas will make it just a memory denmark will also gone too stockholm and amsterdam will all be gone the most populated areas of the uk will be in flood as well as including london and dublin so all in all some of the europe's oldest and most prominent city will be vanish so rising seas of this magnitude will displace hundreds of millions of residents across the world there are no easy answer to the situation but the evidence is building that we need to work through the solutions to prevent this future dilemmas there is no doubt that this generation have to face tremendous challenges 
so this is not the end of the video still there are three continents to explain which will come as part two as soon as possible so before that do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming videos and don't forget to comment below your suggested topic that is you want to listen